Okay, so here we have question number three from C2, June 2014, not the IAL paper, the legacy paper. Um, a question on logarithms. I've been asked to do three B, but I'll do them both just to, for completion, you know, just make sure, in case somebody needs to know how to do part A. Now, part A says, uh, solve giving your answer to three significant figures, the equations, and so for part A, four to the power of A equals 20. Now, four and 20 are not able to be expressed as the same base, so you have to use logarithms here. So we can take log to the base 10, if we wish, we can take log to the base 4, if we wish, uh, whichever way you prefer. I'll do them both just, just to show you. So, for example, if I take log to the base 10 of both sides, I'll have log to the base 10, which I don't have to write, of 4 to the power of A equals log to the base 10 of 20. Now, I can use the power law to say that A times log to the base 10 of 4 equals log to the base 10 of 20. So therefore, A is going to be log to the base 10 of 20 over log to the base 10 of 4. Okay, which I can then write the answer for. Okay, so you're going to have a log to the base 10, let's move out of the way, log to the base 10 of 20 divided by log to the base 10 of 4. And the answer will be 2.161. 2.161, 2.161. One, continue on. So it's going to be to three significant figures, 2.16. Okay, there's the answer to three significant figures as they asked. Okay, um, as I said, the, no the other method is you can start off with 4 to the power of A equals um, 20. What I can do is I can find log to the base 4. So I can say log to the base 4 of 4 to the power of A equals log to the base 4 of 20. All right, the benefit of this is when you get A times log to the base 4 of 4 equals log to the base 4 of 20. Now log to the base of a number to its, itself will always be 1 because this means 4 to the power of something equals 4. Well, 4 to the power of 1 equals 4. So you can just replace this, just get rid of the log to the base 4, to, four log to the base 4 of 4, and there will be A on this side, and you'll end up with log to the base 4 of 20. I mean, I put these steps here, which I don't really need to. I can go straight from here to this. I can go straight from here to here if I want to, and that's perfectly fine. Okay? That's just for explanation purposes for you. So now all I need to do is put log to the base 4 of 20, and it should give me exactly the same answer. Okay, so log to the base 4 and 20. And it gives me 2.1609. 2.161, which is 3SF 2.16. Okay, so just show, do two different ways of doing the same question. Okay, there's no problem whether you use either one. Now, part B. Okay, let me take the question and, and put it down there so that I can see what's going on. So... Take this and put it, oops, and put it down here. Okay, so there's part B. We want to solve this or we'll find the value of B here. Okay, three significant figures. Okay, so solve this equation, find B. So when you have a situation like this, where you have log to the same base, okay, in different terms, what you want to do is you want to bring them together on one side of the equation. What I can do here is I can say, okay, 3 equals log to the base 2 of 30b minus 2 log to the base 2 of b. Now, before I can combine these two together, I have to get rid of this 2. I can use the power law to do so. So I can say log to the base 2 of 30b minus log to the base 2 of b squared. Okay? Now, once I've got log to the base 2 of something minus log to the base 2 of something, I've got rid of anything else that's multiplying it by using the power law, then I can combine these together. Now, if they're subtracted, you're going to use the division law. So I'll have log to the base 2, I've got 3 on this side, log to the base 2, and I can say this is like 30b divided by b squared. Okay, as long as they're the same base, you can combine them together. Okay, so now I can say... 
I can use um, what this actually means. Remember, log to the base a of b equals c actually can be written as a to the power of c equals b. This is the base, this is the power, this is the result. So here we have the base, which is 2. This is the power cubed is equal to 30b over b squared. So what we can do now is we can solve this equation. Let's make some more space. I can solve this equation. I can say, therefore, I can say that 8 is equal to 30b over b squared. Okay, let me move on this side. So I've got 8b squared equals 30b. I'm not going to divide by b because I don't want to lose any solutions. So I'm going to say 8b squared minus 30b equals 0. Um, 4 goes into both of them. I can divide both of them by um, oh, 4, 2, sorry. So I have 4b squared minus 15b equals 0. Take out the common factor, which is b. I have 4b minus 15. So we can equal 0. So either, either b is equal to 0, either b is equal to 0, or 4b is equal to 15, in which case b is equal to 15 over 4. Okay, now let's see if b equals 0 can possibly be an answer. Okay, uh, it can't be an answer because you cannot have log to the base, log of 0. Okay, the log of 0 does not, the log of 0, actually it does, log of 0 is 1, isn't it? The log of something, um, let's, let's just check that log of 0. So there's 10. Of zero, it doesn't exist yet. The log to the base zero doesn't exist. Okay, the log of the log of zero doesn't exist. Okay, the log of zero does not exist. Okay, x cannot be zero. All right, when you have x equals zero, it never actually touches that. That's right. So the log. Okay, if you have log to the base anything of zero, it's undefined. Okay, because the the, the log curve actually looks like this. It's the inverse of the exponential curve. So it looks like this. Okay? So therefore, it is something where you cannot have log of 0. All right? So I can't have b equals 0. So my answer is b equals 15 over 4. Okay? There is the answer to this question. Okay? We can't have both answers there. So there we are. That's question number 3 done. I hope that was clear.